Hey, it's Old Man Coffee. I want to welcome you back to my channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Well, uh, I'm here with Valerie. <laughs> and a little update from the last video I put up was Valerie getting out of the hospital. She's doing very well. Uh, tell everybody how you're doing. I think I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> well, that's Things are healing nicely. Getting okay. my motion back, getting back to doing activities. We're all good. Well, after uh, Valerie got out of the hospital and all that and uh, was doing good, we decided to take the RV and head on down to Laughlin. We actually were staying at the Riverside parking lot. We are boondocking there at the Riverside. And we decided to take a drive up to Kingman and up to the Wallapies, uh, an area that I used to patrol when I was a deputy sheriff up there in Mojave County. So we're on the road from Bullhead City, Laughlin, to Kingman, Arizona. We're coming down into Golden Valley now from Bullhead City. And we'll be going through Kingman. And our actually our destination is that mountain range way off in the distance there. That's the Wallapai Mountains. Well, this is Wallapai Mountain Road. And it leads up into the Wallapai Mountains out of Kingman. And Driving this road reminds me of back in the early 80s. I'm not sure of the date. If uh, I come across the date, I'll put it here in the video. But um, one rainy, cold night, I was called, when I was on patrol, I was called to an accident that occurred out here on Wallapai Mountain Road. And as you can see, there's a, uh, a dirt uh, shoulder here on the road. And the accident was a county vehicle had hit a horse. And there was a rider on the horse and it was right up about in this area up in here uh, before he actually started climbing up into the mountains. And uh, it was nighttime, it was cold, it was rainy, and this county vehicle had come around the corner, as you can see these mountain roads, and uh, hit the horse and the rider. The horse, uh, they had to put the horse down, animal control was called to put the horse down, uh, broke the horse's hip, and the rider, uh, was also injured and taken to the hospital. By the time I got here to the uh, to the accident, everything was cleared out except for the county vehicle. The county vehicle was still here. It turned out that the rider of the horse was riding down the middle of this road at night, like I said, in the dark, with no reflective device on the horse. Uh, no light, no strobe light, no reflective device at all. Her daughter was on a horse, but her daughter was riding on the shoulder. And so I went to the hospital after I had cleared the road of the uh, county vehicle. I went to the hospital and met with the rider of the horse, and I gave her a citation for no stop no no light on a horse no no tail light on a horse and actually at the time and I don't think it's changed but there was a law requiring 
that you have a reflective device of some sort or a light showing that, uh, that you were in the road legally. Now she was in the road all right, which you can ride a horse in the road, but you need reflective devices. Uh, just like they have, the Amish have um, in the East. So any of you that are watching this that are from the East, you know about the Amish and they have reflective devices on their carriages and their horses. Well, it's required in Arizona also. Well, there was a big stir about it and actually the uh, citation made Paul Harvey the next morning Paul Harvey on his show said a, a deputy cited a lady for no tail light on a horse well it, it made uh, national news uh, I was called by Reader's Digest to uh, give an interview and I declined the interview with Reader's Digest uh, because I didn't know how they were going to address the uh, no tail light on a horse. But it uh, turned out that the Equestrian Society here in Kingman uh, raised a big stir about it and complained about it enough that the sheriff uh, dismissed this citation that I issued, even though I issued it legally and I checked with the uh, Attorney General's office and the Attorney General's office stated that I was uh, legal citation, that it was a legal citation that was issued. So uh, that's a little bit of history about me and the Wallapais and the Wallapai Mountain when I was a deputy sheriff here in uh, Mojave County. I'm editing this video you're watching right now and uh, unfortunately uh, I didn't fulfill my obligation with the drone I forgot to turn on the record button so we didn't get any drone footage but uh, Valerie completed and fulfilled her obligation of filming me flying the drone Chris with his new toy. And while on the way home, driving through Golden Valley at approximately milepost 19 on Highway 68, back to Bullhead City in Laughlin, we discovered this nice little pizza and subs place. So um, we stopped for pizza. Stop it. 
for uh, yes, some pizza here. Looks yeah. good. And one other thing that uh, Valerie found out when she went and ordered the pizza, and what was that? That if you're a veteran, your drinks are free. How about that? Free drinks for the veterans. restaurant and that was excellent pizza as you can see Rally ordered the pizza and she ordered it with everything on it and it was really good so what you think of the pizza Valerie two thumbs up good stuff wasn't it yes it was we're, we're probably gonna come here again yeah. uh, it's only about a 20 minute drive out of uh, Laughlin to here so it's uh, well worth it. Uh, yeah. it a great pizza and uh, good service, good food, good atmosphere, good people. Would you say it was our kind of place? Our kind of place. <laughs> yeah. yeah. For definitely. So if you're ever in Golden Valley, be sure and stop in and see uh, American Pizza and Sub. Yeah. Great place. Well, we'd like to thank you very much for watching. We appreciate it. Thanks a lot. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And subscribe. And leave a comment. We'll do the best we can to answer all the comments. And Valerie would like to say something to the fans. Yes, I'd thank, like to thank you all for your well wishes for a speedy recovery. I think it's working. And God bless all of you. So in closing... This will be Old Man Coffee and Valerie saying, Dream until your dreams come true. See you next time. And in closing, we would like to thank all of these people, the supporters of our channel. Thank you very much. Without you folks, this wouldn't be possible.